Hey, in this quick video, let's take a look at what it would take to create a Z-sphere uh, base uh, that we could then use for sculpting uh, our characters. So here I have a fresh uh, open uh, file of ZBrush. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come to Tools and grab my Z-spheres. And then I'm gonna press Comma on my keyboard to close the um, those windows and now if I just drag and hold down the shift key I can put the uh, z-sphere right in the middle I can press edit to make sure I'm in sculpting mode and now let's create some sort of a bipad that we can use as uh, as a base right so I'm gonna press X on my keyboard and I'm gonna just drag a couple legs for this guy maybe do a couple more and now if I go to move, I can actually move them around. So it's something really basic. So maybe actually th these could be his uh, knees. And I can move them forward a little bit. Go back to draw. And then let's go ahead and draw the rest. I can grab my move tool and maybe bring, bring these down. And just give a little bend to the knee. All right, if I wanted to change the scale of this, I can of course go to scale and scale them down or up. In this case, I just want to make them a little smaller. Uh, let's create the feet for this guy. I'm going to go to draw and just give him a foot. I'm going to go to move. Kind of move it into position. All right, so this is a cool base for like a cartoon character. If I press A on my keyboard, I can preview the mesh to see what that would look like. Keep in mind I'm making a base mesh, right? So if I press A again, I can go back to Z spheres, and this time let's give him, uh, let's give him like a head. So. If I go to the center while my symmetry is on, um, it turns green, showing me that it's merging into one. That's fine. I just want one head. I'm not gonna have a neck for this guy. I'm just gonna give him a kind of a big, large head. And maybe he's some sort of a creature. All right, so let's say I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go to draw. And now I'm gonna give him some shoulders. These will be my elbows. I'm going to grab my move tool, kind of move them into position. At any point, if I needed to uh, create extra um, Z spheres inside these this connection area, I could go to draw and just simply click, and that will give me uh, extra uh, Z spheres that I can control. You know, like let's say I want to click one here, go to uh, scale, and maybe scale this up you know, give them a little bit of a shoulder. And then if you press A, you can preview and see that I just added some volume there, right? So you can actually control the shapes pretty well. And there's no limit how many Z-spheres you can add, so keep that in mind. There is a shortcut uh, to for these. You can see this is a W, this is an E, rotate as R, and this is a Q. I'm just, I keep clicking so you guys can see what I'm uh, using, but Feel free to use the shortcut. Maybe let's give them even larger shoulders. Go back to draw. And this will be like his forearm. I'm trying to keep the character in sort of a T pose, just so it's easier for modeling. If I go to draw and hold down the old key, I can click and remove a Z sphere. Maybe I don't actually need that one. So something like that looks uh, pretty cool. If I wanted to, I can go and give him a little elbow bend. So it looks a little more natural. And to do fingers, let's just give him, you can control the size, holding down the S key, you can change the size, which is here as well. 
and let's give them like a thumb and maybe one, two, and three fingers. Something like that. Now, if I zoom in, I can add more spheres on top of it, right? And I'm not worried about the scale of the Z spheres because I can control that at any moment. Now I'm just going to pull the fingers out. So I want this guy. I can move him around as I like. So I can see, for example, this one is a little too small. Obviously, I can scale this up. And maybe move these up a little. Now let's grab his thumb. And if I press A, I can see what the hand looks like, right? Um, if you lose your character, you can press F, and that will automatically frame back in. Okay, press A, I can take a look at my creation here. All right, so this hand looks really small uh, to me, so I'm going to actually scale some of these up. All right, something like this should work. Um, I can actually move these up a little. So you can see how you can quickly create a cool base mesh and then use that to sculpt uh, further, right? So now let's say I'm ready and I want to use this to uh, keep going, right? So the one thing I need to do uh, to jump, to turn it into uh, actual sculptable geometry is just go to adaptive skin. And again, if you press A, you can change the density. So maybe you want a little more density or a little less, it depends. Let's say I'm building a low uh, poly character and I just want really low density. So then the only thing I need to do is just say make adaptive skin. And then keep an eye on here in your tools as you press it. You press the make adaptive skin and you can see a skin was created. So now if I go into that, um, now this is no longer a Z sphere. This is an actual mesh, right? So now I can grab my move tool I can change the size of my brush and I can start sculpting on this. I can hold on the shift key. I can smooth it. So now this is a base mesh that is ready to be uh, used for further sculpting. So very quickly, you can create really cool stuff. And if you uh, wanted to, you, you can even go to um, geometry and go to Z remesher, right? And if we turn on our uh, frames here we can see what the poly frames look like and let's say you want to make this even uh, cleaner right so one thing you could do is say keep groups and I'm gonna leave mine at 5000 and just say Z remesh let's check this out So here's kind of a low, lower poly frame and I can turn off the adaptive, say half, do it again. And you can see how ZBrush gradually begins to lower the polygons. I'm at 5,000 uh, points. I can do it even more. And I'm gonna do undo that because I lost some of the volume. But now uh, if I wanted to, right, I can press Control D a couple times and now you can see I have a level right so now I can actually begin to create um, detail on my character and control the level so this would be for like a game engine and then this would be the uh, high density or high uh, polygon version for like baking in substance pain or something like that if you create all this detail so this is a really cool and fast way to use these spheres to create some awesome uh, base uh, mashes for creatures or uh, pretty much anything. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.